Hello, fifth grade. After recalling some prior knowledge, we are now ready for chapter 13, lesson 1, classifying triangles. We're going to talk about different, different types of triangles in this lesson. There are two ways to classify triangles. Uh, first, we can look at the lengths of their sides. And then we can look at the measures of their angles. If a triangle has um, three si equal sides, these three sides are of the same length, uh, it is called an equilateral triangle. Equal means the same. Lateral has to do with the sides, with the, yeah, the three sides. So if a triangle has three equal sides, it is called equilateral triangle. It doesn't matter the size, big or small. It doesn't matter the direction, if it's tilted or upside down. It only matters if their three sides are of the same length. If they are, they're called equilateral triangle. So let's put equilateral triangle away. And look at another type. Um, this triangle has this side and this side being the same. So we have a name for this. Um, or you can see in this triangle it's very short. But still this side and this side are the same. Um, not the bottom. Um, so for triangles that have two equal sides, we call them isosceles triangle. Again, it doesn't matter the size, the direction, how it looks. As long as it has two tr equal sides, it is called an isosceles triangle. So you might need to practice saying the words a few times and let, uh, until you remember it. Um, so let's put isosceles triangle away. And the last category we're looking at is um, triangles that don't have any equal sides. Like this one is shorter than this one, and this one is shorter than this one. None of these um, three sides are equal to um, any other one. So triangles that don't have any equal sides they're called scaling triangle. So let's review them again. Three equal sides, equilateral triangle. Two equal sides, isosceles triangle. And no equal sides, scaling triangle. Now let's look at um, classifying triangles by the measures of their angles. This triangle, it has here a right angle. So this triangle is called a right triangle. Again, it doesn't matter the size, the height, the directions. We are looking for the measures of their angles. So one right angle it is a right triangle. There is one right angle it is right triangle. Um, before we get to the next, I have a question for you. Do you think a right triangle ha can have two right angles or no? Think about it. Can a triangle have two right angles? Later, you're going to have a sheet of questions like this. I want you to do some experiments and answer the questions. There are also questions like this. Can a right triangle at the same time be equilateral triangle? Which means, can a right triangle have three equal sides? Or can a right triangle have two equal sides? which is isosceles triangle, or can a right triangle be a scalene triangle at the same time? 
You're going to do experiments by yourself and answer my questions. Uh, it's going to be a fun time. I did these experiments and I enjoyed it. I'm going to show you how to do it um, later. So um, you're going to see the questions and know how to do it. Now, let's just move on with classifying the triangles. If a triangle has an angle that is obtuse, which is larger than a right angle, then this triangle is called an obtuse triangle. Um, again, there are questions on the sheet like, can an obtuse triangle be equilateral, isosceles, or scalene? Can an uh, obtuse triangle have two obtuse angles? You're going to think about it and do experiment about it. Okay, let's move on. Um, this triangle does not have a right or obtuse angle. It has three acute angles. Then it is an acute triangle. Um, again, can acute triangle be equilateral, isosceles, or scalene? And we're going to see how to do experiments on that in a, in a second. Hey guys, I told you I would have some questions for you and instead of telling you the answers, I would like you to experiment and find out the answers by yourself. Um, you, it's, it's a very simple experiment. You just need to three, you just need to have three toothpicks. Um, it can be three chopsticks three twigs, three pencils, anything um, that, that um, three of anything that are of the same length. And something to help you make sure you can make a good right angle. Um, it can be a card, a ruler, or, um, or some kind of print you have on the paper, as long as you can find a right corner, right angle. So, um, I don't have all the questions here, but I have some examples, and I'm sure after showing you the examples, you know how to work out the other answers uh, questions too. The first question is, can a triangle have two or three right angles? Um, we're going to look at two right angles first. So here is a right angle here. Um, this is one side of the triangle and this is the other side of the triangle. Now this is a right angle and I can use the other toothpick as a th the third angle I mean the third side and I can make about the same angle I think it's pretty good a right angle now I have two right angles here and here but it does not look like a triangle and these two lines since they are parallel they they, they both are perpendicular to this line um, because they made two right angles. So we know that they are not going to meet at any point. And it's more like a, a square. Um, it's going to make a square if you put another side here. So it's not a triangle. Our answer for this question, can a triangle have two right angles, is no. And... If it cannot have two right angles, it cannot have three right angles either. Um, it's going to make it more difficult. So now let's look at the second one. Can a right triangle, yeah, I made a typo here. Can a right triangle Please to tolerate my mistake. I don't want to remake the video again. 
Um, can a right triangle be equilateral? Means three equal sides. Scalene, meaning no equal sides. Or isosceles, meaning two equal sides. Let's. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna label it here. You don't have to do it. Zero equal sides and two equal sides. So first of all, it's a right triangle. So it has. It has to have at least one. I mean, only one right angle because we have just proved that a tri a right triangle cannot have two right angles. So this is a right angle. You're going to make a right triangle with uh, another side. So first, can it have three equal sides equilateral? These, these three toothpicks are three equal sides. And can I make a, a perfect triangle with them? No, right? This, line, this side is going to be too short. It has to be uh, longer than this to make a triangle. So the answer for this question is no. And O. Oh. Can the right triangle be scaling? Actually, let's look at the third one. Can the triangle, right triangle be isosceles? Now let's look at the um, question here. Can the right triangle be isosceles? In order to be isosceles, the triangle has to have two equal sides. Now we already have two equal sides. We just need a third longer side. Then it makes a isosceles right triangle. So this triangle is, um, this triangle here is a, um, um, right isosceles triangle. Mm. Ask Mr. Lasevich if you can say isosceles right triangle. I don't think it's, it makes a difference. So our answer is yes. A right triangle can be isosceles. It can have two equal sides. Um, last one, can a right triangle be scaling? So you just need to have a right angle here and the three sides that are of different lengths. Well, it looks like it's possible, right? Now, this is a very short side and this is a little longer and this one's going to be longer than this side. Um, it can have three sides that are of the same length. I mean, that are of different lengths. If you, now we, yeah, it's hard to, to manage, but at least we know that this length and this length are different. So we are sure that a right triangle can be scalene. Yes. All right. Go ahead and try for the other questions and find out your answer. Um, don't worry if you have the wrong answers. I am going to explain each of those questions in, um, in the next video. Um, and yep. That's all for today. I hope you guys understand it well and have fun. Um, and this lesson is more about understanding the words and memorizing the, the English words for each type of triangles. Um, so that's it.